I would say the injury bug got me a little bit, and which also kind of altered my confidence. And that was probably the biggest thing was just you know battling back and fighting through those injuries, and then also keeping my mind in a place where where it needed to be. How do you regain that confidence? Um, the biggest thing for me was the guys in my room. You know, all the D-line guys always you know kept me up and uh, kept me positive, which is kind of hard to do when you're not out there practicing with them. But definitely, you know, the leaders on our team, the leaders in our room, really kept me moving forward. Do you think back to the in the recruiting, the right place, right? You talk about Penn State and the problems they're having. Then Urban comes to Ohio State. It's like all together and it all fit for you. Do you ever think back on if it hadn't come out that way? Um, I try not to. You know, I kind of try not to dwell on the past too much about that kind of stuff. But I mean, yeah, I mean, things could have been different for better or worse. And I'm glad I am where I am for sure. Tommy, what did or how did if you can ref, go back and remember what did Urban say when he first came for you? Do you remember like how he opened the dialogue with you? He asked me if I wanted to win a championship, and I said yes, and he said, then this is the place you need to be. I mean, as a kid, how does that? I mean, it's, it was a pretty powerful statement. You know, it's something that you kind of think, well, is, is he right, is he wrong? And look, at, I mean, just with his track record and where he's been and how he's won at those places, I mean, it was, it was pretty hard to say no. How involved were you with um, Noah and Cam at the time, too? Like, did you guys have to talk about it together? Because you all kind of did it at the same time, but like, or is it like a joint effort? Were you guys leaning on each other? What, if you take me back to that? Uh, I mean, we had conversations about it, but we kind of wanted to let each other make our own decisions. Um, but yeah, there was definitely conversations, just kind of what are you thinking here, what are you thinking there, as far as coaching staffs and stuff like that. Um, but in the end, it was really our own, all of our own decisions. You talk about you know finally getting the chance to start, and uh, you know Cam Williams is a guy who it looks like you know won't get that opportunity as a senior, but a lot of the linebackers still speak really highly of him and his leadership. Uh, can you just talk about you know what he brings to the defense, both as a player and a person? Oh yeah, Cam's an awesome guy. He's a program guy. He's one of the guys that you know he does everything he's asked of, um, both football wise, school wise, off the field, and uh, he's definitely a guy that a lot of people look up to on the team. Coach, you had Adolphus obviously with some new roles this year. How are you two adjusting to those roles? How does the interior of the line look? Um, I think we look great so far. I mean, I think uh, we've put in the work to you know, be a great defensive front this year. And uh, with Adolphus and I, you, we both kind of went back and forth be between playing three technique and one. And so we, we're both familiar with both spots, and um, I'm looking forward to getting out of there next week. Tommy, when a kid comes here as a top rated prospect, is there more pressure to perform? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, just with how recruiting is these days and you know, all the hype and all, all that kind of stuff, it, it definitely puts more pressure on these guys coming in. And, uh, I mean, sometimes that's difficult for guys to live up to, and it, it, it overtakes some guys. But I think our freshmen this year have done a great job of, you know, coming in, putting their head down and going to work. What was it like for you? Uh, it was tough. It was tough. I mean, especially being a guy from out of state and not knowing a whole lot, not, like, not knowing a whole lot about Ohio State football and the culture and the tradition here. And uh, not being as familiar with some of the recruits, the guys from Ohio, it was, it was a little more challenging, but everyone was very welcoming, and I got used to it pretty quickly. How does Ohio State balance the fact that, you know, right now the 2016, 2017 classes, those are guys where they're all four stars, and just, you know, numbers wise, they won't all be able to have the impact that their rating would suggest they would. How does Ohio State handle that type of situation? I think they just need to understand that when they come in, they have to compete. I mean, Nothing's given to you when you get here, and I think that's probably some of the hardest things with recruiting is that you're put up on a pedestal, but wherever you go, you need to understand that you have to come in and put the work in and uh, earn spots. Tommy, your coach is in. Go ahead, Lori. How much more prepared do you feel for Virginia Tech this year than maybe you did last year? Um, I think we're very, a lot more prepared this year. I think about last year we spent a lot of time on Navy and getting ready for that kind of stuff and not necessarily overlook Virginia Tech, but didn't prepare like we would have for a normal game. And uh, this year we've been more than focused on you know getting that game plan in and uh, executing that and being ready for next week. Do What's a normal like game? What does that mean, normal game, Tommy? Just these guys are going to play you straight up to, to a certain extent, you know what I mean? I mean, what does that mean to you? Um, I, I mean, for this game specifically, I think we put in more than what we would for a normal game just because of what happened last year, and we felt underprepared last year come, going into that game, yeah. both offensively and defensively, and I think uh, – this year, we've been, we've been working on this game plan all summer and are excited about next week. But I mean, what they what they present, I mean, they're, they're not going to be doing probably a lot of cut blocking and things like that, like maybe. I mean, just what does that mean to you when you say a normal kind of like offense? You know what I mean? What what do you expect from them, I guess? Uh, well, I mean, it's just, it's just more traditional stuff, you know, as far as us just working on the zone scheme and the power scheme yeah. and stuff like that. It's, it's a little more simplified than what you'd have to face going against a team like Navy.